I was asked to say a few words about intercalation. So here they are. Intercalation essentially means taking a year out from the BDS programme to study another degree programme, either at a bachelor level after two years of the BDS, or it could be um, a master's programme after three, or it could be a bachelor's programme after three. Possible advantages of doing this are that it gives you a break from dental school. It's an opportunity to make new friends, hopefully you're doing that anyway outside of dentistry. It gives you the opportunity to study a subject in more depth. This may be a subject that you've met already in the programme or something slightly different. To gain new skills and to experience student life and university without clinical responsibilities. It certainly shows, doesn't it, that you can take on a challenge and most of the programmes would give you a good grounding in research methods. So if you want to go on and do a future research degree, that would be a good start. It adds to your CV, so really helpful for those specialties that are very competitive. Anything that adds to your CV that makes you stand out, that shows that you're up for a challenge and have additional skills is going to be helpful. And particularly, it can help towards an academic career, although it's not a prerequisite. So you can still follow an academic career without having it intercalated. You need to think about the disadvantages. Obviously, you'll be at university for longer and that has financial implications because you won't be earning as soon also need to think very carefully about financing the intercalation year and how that's going to work so you'll still be eligible for a student loan it's slightly more complicated if you're on a master's program because you have to come out of an undergraduate loan and go on to a postgraduate loan and that only really covers the fees and not maintenance. So you have to really think hard about how you're going to finance the year if that's what you decide to do. Obviously it's, it's intensive, it's hard work. It's doing um, what might be a, a three year course otherwise into an intensive one year. People have said you lose touch with the year group. Obviously, they carry on without you, but hopefully you make new friends as well. Obviously, for that little while, you lose clinical skills because you're not doing any clinical work. But we help you with re-entry to, to the clinical side. Um, and nobody's found that to be a, a difficult problem. And possible topics are very many, as you see here. So recently, um, people have done mycology and uh, global health, and someone is currently doing public health. The criteria for intercalation are here. So. Firstly, you need to convince the dentistry division that this is right for you. So there needs to be evidence of real academic capability and that you'll be able to do this. And really, we're looking for honours in each of the years that you've been with us, preferably. So that's in the dentistry side. From the receiving school or division side, you need to make up inquiry to them and put in an application if appropriate and entry may be competitive and space is limited. So you need to gain their acceptance 
um, and a place on their program, obviously. So if you might be interested, there's a folder in the information section on Blackboard. Do go and have a look. Do talk to people who've already been through this. Check your eligibility. Explore what degree program you might be interested in and talk to them and if appropriate, if appropriate apply. And the final piece of the jigsaw is that you, there'd be a formal agreement to interrupt the BDS program and return in a year. So we absolutely guarantee to take you back and you would not lose your place in dentistry. So I hope that's helpful and do come and talk to me if you'd like to know more.